50 even 70 kilometers per hour at times. Overnight lows will be near minus 3, but feel more like the teens below. Downtown Toronto, some light snow and a wind chill reading of minus 6. The city is time 703. Well, it didn't last long, and that's a good thing. A few hours of intense snow, but enough to warm the dry. A wind chill weather travel advisor has been lifted for the GTHA, and now the cold could become an issue. City Scott Burnett is moving in with the latest sky. For those of us who actually like winter, it seems kind of lovely. City says plows are out to bear on major routes right down to sidewalks. Don't pass them. That's dumb, dangerous, and will net you a $325 ticket. Hills became the enemy today as well, leaving TTC buses and cars in the lurch. The drive looking a little better now on most routes, with typical delays on major routes being exacerbated by the slush. Looking ahead, high winds are expected to make for a very cold evening and overnight, but City News meteorologist Natasha Ramsahai tells us ski country will be jumping for joy. A cold northwest wind lake effect snow is already starting to take place off of Lake Superior, and we now have a brand new snow squall warning in place. In fact, ski resorts are going to be very happy as these wind gusts this evening, even here in Toronto, picking up to 60 to 70 kilometers per hour. So far, the one-day snowfall record appears in this year was 5.6 centimeters on January 9th. Today's unofficial measurement, 6 centimeters. Reporting live, Scott Burnett, City News. City News Time, 704. Two people sent to hospital following a stabbing at Wilson Subway Station during the height of the rush. Police were called to the station around 5.30. A man in his 50s rushed to a trauma center. Non-life-threatening stab wounds. A woman was arrested at the scene. Later taken to hospital with minor injuries. Police are still searching for one suspect. You're listening to All News Radio, City News 680 at 7.05. Might the Ford government start tolling the Gardner and Don Valley Parkway? City's Richard Southern says no. The province is announcing a ban on tolls on those routes. Sounds like great news for drivers when you hear the Transportation Minister Brandy Sicaria announce it. Our government is introducing legislation that would, if passed, ban tolls on provincial highways. But of course, drivers know there are no tolls on provincial highways, and nobody's calling for them. That would not only apply to the DBP and Gardner Expressway, but also to the province's 400 series highways. The minister says the no tolls would not apply to 407. And that's uh, a private entity. Sicaria also formally announced that the government will do away with yearly license plate renewals. They'll be automatic, although he says it's not going to happen immediately. Well, we're have, looking to have uh, this implemented by the summer. We're still expected to renew your license uh, until that uh, comes into place. And only drivers with no outstanding tickets will get the automatic renewal. Richard Southern, City News.